Hey everyone, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please hit that subscription button down below and the notification bell for updates on our next videos. So today I'm taking a day off, this morning anyway. I've already been working since about 5.30. Uh, it's 7.30 now. Um, but we're heading out in the woods um, to check the trail camera. And I went out to check them before. And unfortunately one of ours was stolen. Um, in over 15 years of putting cameras out in the woods, I've never had it happen. So it's a big bummer, but I guess maybe I've been lucky until now. Uh, so anyway, I pulled the other camera and I moved it up into the higher mountains. Um, I wanted to get out of the junipers and pinions because that's where I've always had my camera. So we put it up in the spruce and Douglas firs and actually when we went out, to go put the camera out there, uh, Brandon went with me. There was a nice 5x5 five five bull that had just come away from a water hole. So we put the camera on the trail behind the water hole. Um, so I'll show you real quick footage um, that I took when we put the camera out there. And uh, then we'll see what's going on today. We're going to keep an eye out for any wildlife while we're out here since it's early. Um, hunting season just started for archery deer. Brandon's supposed to be buying his tag, but... Um, I don't know if he's going to do it. <clears throat> Season started already three days ago. So anyway, let's see what happens today. All right, guys. So this is where I'm putting my new trail camera. I actually already just put it up. And before we could even get over here, there was a really nice bull elk that was in here. But as you can see, there's this water hole here. And then um, pretty much... There's a trail that goes up in between the trees and then that way. And we put our camera on a tree facing the water hole so we can see what's coming and going. So as you can see, we're up into the deciduous forest out of the pine trees and the junipers. So I'm hoping we'll get a different variety of animals. So we're out here on the dirt road down in the grasslands right now and we're going to be heading up into those mountains up there and uh, that's where our camera is out it's somewhere up in there all right guys so now we're up into the ponderosa pine forest still climbing so i do apologize if we do see any awesome wildlife um i forgot my batteries for my good camera and I only have a little bit of battery left and I'm saving it for photos. So unfortunately, if we do see really cool wildlife, there won't be any great video, but I will try and get it with my this camera here that I'm using now. There's a fat little chipmunk there. Still eating. <laughs> we're just starting to get, we're still in ponderosas, but we're just starting to get into a little bit of evergreens. Still climbing the mountain. We are also starting to get into the aspen trees. They're so pretty. Here's something to you up. All right, guys. So we just turned onto the road that the trail camera's on. I still have a few miles before I get to it, but we're officially pretty much up and in into the evergreen forest. And um, I've been also watching the radar from when we've been getting the rain. Well, not we, but all around us have been getting the rains the last few days. And uh, this road seems to be getting hit pretty well. So we're going to keep an eye out for mushrooms because if I start seeing edible ones, we'll probably bring our pack goat Joe up here and we'll start packing out mushrooms. Now we forage quite a bit in the fall and early spring if we get good rain and uh, dry all the foods. That way we can eat them throughout the winter and summers. And so hopefully we'll start seeing some mushrooms. And I'll definitely do a whole new video on that and what we look out for. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of mushrooms that um, you cannot really mistake for anything bad. And so we typically go for the easier ones. Uh, we don't want to accidentally get something we shouldn't. 
and get sick. So anyway, so we are going to keep an eye out for mushrooms today. I say we, it's just me today. Brandon is at work. Um, but anyway, we'll be hopefully at the camera here pretty soon. So I love this road because the forest is just so thick compared to what I'm used to and where I've lived. So it's just real pretty having such a thick forest. But of course, then it helps the animals to hide a little bit better. <laughs> So I've, like I said, I've never had a trail camera up this high before in the mountains. So I'm very curious to see what we get. I mean, it could be the same animals, you know, but different background and they may look a little healthier. There's a squirrel. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I just found our first mushrooms today. I'm actually not quite sure what kind they are, but we'll take a sample and uh, see what they are. Just in case there anything. Ooh, that, see, that one's a little older. Okay, because it's like that, I think these are inky caps. And I don't remember if those are edible, so we're going to leave them because they're messy anyway, but I believe those are inky caps. So at least the good thing about finding those is that they are definitely starting to grow up here. So hopefully we'll come across maybe some Caesars or some lobsters while we're out today. All right guys, so we've made it out here where my camera is and definitely way different from when we were here before. It was hot, it was dry, now it's cool, we've got puddles everywhere, which isn't necessarily a good thing because before they had to come to this water hole, and so now they don't have to come directly to this water hole, but it was a pretty heavily used trail um, where we put the camera, so hopefully we'll still, we still have caught some activity. So let's see what we've got and hope that my camera is still there, of course. Definitely nice and wet, so it'll be good for mushrooming this later on this week. Today's a Monday. And there's definitely some fresh tracks of something. And it does look like my camera is still there. Yep. Good. And yeah, we've definitely got some fresh track in here. Looks like quite a bit of activity, actually. And it goes that way. We put our camera right here. So hopefully, we got some good stuff. Alright guys, well I just checked it. I took the chip back to my car, checked it with my camera, and there is not a single image on there. So even though we saw that there was activity on the ground, for some reason, we have no pictures. So I'm going to move the camera, probably a little further back in, and closer to the trail. It should have caught something, but I'm not sure why. It didn't, or somebody's out here deleting my pictures, I don't know. So we'll see what happens, but I'm going to move it further back down this trail. Alright guys, so I set it up on that tree right there, down this trail, and it's much closer to the trail. I'm actually standing on it, so I'm hoping we'll get something. Leave it out here for another week, and then we'll come check it again. So I guess, <clears throat> I guess we'll continue on with our day. I'm a little bummed out. Um, I did get some on the camera at the old spot, just a couple of pictures. Uh, so I'll post those real quick. Um, but I was really hoping for something out here. So hopefully next time we come it'll look better. Because there is a lot of fresh track literally from probably last night or this morning even on this trail you can see where it looked like something was maybe running so I don't know but hopefully we'll have better luck next time
Mad Kyle is just hanging out over there. I did take a short clip with my good camera. I had enough battery. But you can see him with my horrible camera here. He's right there just poking around looking for something to eat. I've been sitting here and he ain't running off. He isn't very skittish. He looks young. I was kind of hoping maybe there was a pack of them around. Maybe it was just a young one and the parents or another sibling was around, but I haven't seen anything. But got some good photos and, and video of them. All right, guys, so that's kind of what happened today. Um, didn't see as much wildlife as I would have hoped, but you know, I was really bummed out that we didn't get any photos on the camera. So it's just kind of a, eh, wasn't the best morning, but still got a few, few good pictures of the wildlife and the birds. So anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully this camera will not get stolen. Um, all we can do is hope, I guess. <laughs> Um, I'm really bummed that our other one was stolen, but what do you do? So anyway, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.